Hi, I'm Aubrey Pierce and thank you for tuning in to Voyage News. We're going to start off with Gage Mazeka. As everyone knows, Apple has recently been discovered to be part of a scandal where they're slowing down their older iPhones in order to force people to buy newer iPhones such as the iPhone 8 and iPhone 10. In an attempt to avoid multiple lawsuits, Apple has slashed down the price of their batteries for these phones from $79 to $29. And as an additional perk for people, they have offered this two to three months earlier than they otherwise were planning on. 2018 you guys and I'm here to tell you what to do each month of the year to make it the best one yet. In January, don't get all caught up in the changing and the resolution type of stuff. Think about what you can do to make it better, not really focusing on the end result. Happy's the journey. In February, don't get your head in the clouds about Valentine's Day. Use that love to make a new friend, write a note to an existing friend, or even to an important family member. In high school, it's better to appreciate those rather than the short term things. In March, April, and May, teachers will be extremely antsy about exams and finals and SOLs, so take this time to make a schedule. Write what days you'll spend resting and studying and working and things of the sort. Keep a schedule for all three months leading up to the big test. Organizing your time and knowing when you're doing things helps a lot and will make you feel better about your decision making. In June, July, and August, it's obviously summer. Travel a bit, work, finish your summer assignments, but again, Schedule and use your time wisely. Don't get caught up in the day-to-day -day life of last-minute decision-making. In September, school starts back. In order to stay organized during the year, get school supplies. Find out your classes and mend broken ties. Be sure to make a great first impression. Buy a first day outfit. Dress to impress. In October and November, students tend to start slowing down because of the upcoming fall and winter breaks. And this time, be the difference and work hard, study hard, and keep caught up in schoolwork. Raise those grades and make the most of it. In December, relaxation time starts to kick back in. And this time, get in the Christmas spirit. Get closer with a family member you may not talk to often. Take loads of pictures, spend money, and give, give, give. That's not to say giving is all the happiness, all that happiness is found in, because again, happy is the journey. Make the most of your 2018. In light of the recent snow days, uh, midterm exams will be pushed back a few days to allow students extra time to prepare and study for their exams. The 2AB exam will be held on uh, fr Friday the 26th and it's going to be a full day with an extended period for the exam. The 1A and uh, 1B exam will be held on uh, the Monday will be held uh, on Monday 29 and the 3A and 3B exam will be held uh, the following Tuesday on the 30th. The 4B and 4A exam will be held uh, on the Wednesday 31st and that will be the official last day of the quarter and semester. The next day, the February 1st, the Thursday following it, We'll be starting the new semester and new quarter, and it will be a full day like normal. Thank you for spending your time here watching Voyager News. Hope to see you next week.